In this question, we have a sample that contains 4.97 moles of diatomic nitrogen. And we're told that diatomic nitrogen has a molar mass of 28.02 grams per mole. And our goal is to find the mass of the sample. Okay, so in this question, we start with moles and we're trying to end up with mass. And an important piece of information is provided, which is the molar mass. So I want to write that out up here. We've got molar mass. And our molar mass is 28.02 grams per mole. So that's our molar mass. And what that means, grams per mole, is that I have 28.02 grams in one mole. So we can write that out as a conversion factor. That's the same thing as saying 28.02 grams of diatomic nitrogen, N2, is equal to one mole of diatomic nitrogen, N2. So that's what our molar mass tells us. It tells us our conversion factor. Grams per mole means that number of grams is equal to one mole. So we're going to use this as our conversion factor here in our question because we're converting from moles to mass. And here we've got a conversion factor with moles and mass in it. So let's go ahead and do that. So same as usual, we have our question with a number and unit here. We're then multiplying by a fraction. On the bottom of the, of the fraction, we want to put the thing we're trying to cancel out. And we're trying to cancel out moles because we don't want to end up with moles. So I'm going to put moles on the bottom. I do want to end up with grams, so I'm going to put grams on the top there. And now I can fill in my conversion factor. So I know that 28.02 grams equals one mole. So I'm going to put 28.02 with the G and one with the mole. So there's our conversion factor. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply everything on the top row, divide by everything on the bottom and we can cancel out units at the same top and bottom. So here we're canceling out moles. We're left with 4.97 times 28.02 grams divided by one. So we can put that into our calculator. That gets us an answer of 139 grams. So let's just check that. Awesome. So you can see this process works exactly the same as any other conversion. The only difference is that our conversion factor is found from the molar mass with the grams per mole, meaning that that number of grams equals one mole. Let's do one more question of this type. Here we have 42.0 grams of methanol and we're told methanol has a molar mass of 32.05 grams per mole. Our goal is to find out how many moles are in the sample. So same as before, we're given this molar mass. We're told the molar mass is 32.05 grams per mole. And what that means is that 32.05 grams of methanol, which has the formula CH3OH, is equal to one mole of methanol, which again has a formula CH3OH. So there's our conversion factor. So we took the molar mass, it tells us grams per mole, so that means the grams are equal to one mole. Okay, now we can go ahead with our conversion. So we've got our question, number and unit written out here. On the bottom of our fraction, we're putting the unit we're trying to cancel out, which is grams, G. So that's going on the bottom. We want to end up in moles, so that's going on the top. And then we need to put in our numbers from our conversion factor. So we know that one mole is equal to 32.05 grams. Okay, wonderful. So now we can go ahead and multiply everything on the top, divide by everything on the bottom, cancel units that are the same on the top and the bottom. So here we're canceling grams. And we're left with 42.0 multiplied by one mole divided by 32.05. If we put that in our calculator, that gets us 
that gets us an answer of 1.31 moles. So let's check that in our answer box again. So as you can see, exactly the same method as any other conversion. We just need to remember that when we're given the molar mass, that tells us our conversion factor.